We now return to Mysteries of the Universe, the Dharma Initiative. Outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, 1978, a University of Las Vegas college student purchases a jumpsuit for a costume party at a local thrift store. He attends the party dressed as a janitor. During the course of the evening, he is photographed for the college newspaper. Three weeks later, a mysterious knock sounds at the door of his fraternity house. Two men begin to ask a series of detailed questions to the student in regard to the origin of his costume. The men eventually leave after learning all they can, leaving the befuddled youth in a cloud of unanswered questions of his own. The only distinguishing feature of this garment is this logo, a curiously shaped octagon with the word Dharma in the middle. What was once an innocent Halloween costume is now the impetus for the much larger investigation at hand. What or who is the Dharma Initiative? Aliens, flying saucers, abductions. Nevada has long been known for an area of considerable importance to otherworldly creatures. Some claim that the area is a veritable hotbed of extraterrestrial activity known as Area 51. Could the proximity of this incident in relation to Area 51 be a link to an answer? It is suspected that workers at the infamous military base are known to wear color-coded jumpsuits, much like the one found in the thrift store, that designate their rank and occupation. Those that work there, or claim to work there, are said to vanish for long periods of time. If the government or someone claiming to be from the government is concerned about a missing article of clothing, then why are they not concerned about a person gone missing? In the following interview, we speak with someone who claims that his neighbor vanished after completing a job interview with a mysterious group that was looking to fill an open position. My neighbor Phil was looking for a job. He said he was on round five of an interview for this group out in Michigan. Five interviews is a lot of interviews, especially for a security guard position. Phil said they had him taking all sorts of weird head exams, like ink blots, and you know, just kind of random exams like that. So tell me, when was the last time you saw Phil? Ah, the last time I saw Phil. Uh, he said something about going back for the last interview, and then I never saw the guy again. Someone came, sold his house, took his car, even took his dog. His girlfriend didn't even know. I called the police. They said they would investigate. It was a year ago. The guy's gone. Cases like this are not unique. The United States is riddled with stories of people disappearing after participating in questionable job interviews. There are four common traits of the job postings. This graphic watermark, the quantity of similar job openings, strange tests, and the large number of interviews. And almost without fail, after accepting the position, the applicant disappears. A large number of interviews for occupations such as physicist and engineer are standard. But why would a job opening for a car mechanic require five interviews? Why does a janitor position involve psychological testing? Why do these people leave without explanation? Portland, Oregon. Our investigation of similar disappearances led us to this woman, a grade school teacher named Olivia. Her family and friends said she applied for a teaching position, interviewed heavily for the job, and then left without a trace. Her apartment was subleased for three years with no explanation of her absence. Her parents were recently interviewed. She just left one day. Disappeared. And I haven't heard from her since. You think she left for a job or? <laughs> a job. She had a job. I mean, she's gone. Note the graphic seal on the upper right corner of this preliminary job application, supplied to us by Olivia's parents. It matches the one on the jumpsuit and job posting. 
Secret societies are known to use special identifying symbols to assist members in identification of official documents and property. Often used in these interviews is the Rorschach test. This test is used with the psychiatric community to assist in determining a person's mental state. It is also often used on the criminally insane. Here is a list of questions we found for an interview. Why should a veterinarian be profiled in the same manner as a psychotic killer? Intense interviews, psychological tests, disappearances, secrecy. If someone or some group is putting this much effort into interviews, then exactly what type of organization is this? All the puzzle pieces are there, but the more we try to put them together, more pieces are added to the table. An ever-expanding table, and the place setting is serving up mystery. <laughs>